Hey guys, it's Justin. Welcome back to the channel and we are at the end of 2022, a year gone. Let's look back at our top 10 animals from 2022. All right guys, top 10 ball pythons. This is number 10. Hopefully none of the others are in shed. We'll start with the Super Stranger. This is actually one of our more recent babies that we hatched in our top 10, and this animal was a complete surprise. The pairing was a really simple spot nose stranger to pastel stranger, and this, I believe, is the first kind of obvious Super Stranger. You know, of course, it could have been made before in some clown combos and stuff, but this is kind of the most obvious and simple version where we can say, okay, that's what it looks like. Now we know what we're building on. And of course, we still have to prove it out. We're gonna breed this boy, hopefully in 2023, maybe towards the end of the year, and get a clutch just to prove out 100% that he is a super stranger. But I just love all that darkness, much more reduced pattern over the stranger combos. And again, it's, sometimes it's so nice to see things just in their simple forms and be able to know when you make future combos from there what you're working with. Coming in at number two, we have the Leopard Blackhead Mojave Hypo Black Exanthic. This boy is amazing and it's actually, I think, gotten better with age. It's a little bit lighter, a little more pewterish, I would say. It looks like a truly like silver animal. And again, I say pewter, but of course pewter is a pastel, black pastel, but this has neither of those genes, of course, but we've managed with the Black Exanthic and the Hypo to create this perfect kind of silver color. The pattern, of course, is from the Leopard blackhead in Mojave and it's amazing. It's like a, like a layered cake. You have the first layer, then a line, then another layer, then of course the stripe on the back and then reversed on the way down. Love this animal. Could have hit a pied in this clutch. We actually did hit a pied, but it didn't hit black exanthic. So this boy, it was 66% het pied. We actually just sent in a genetic shed test on it and it proved to be het pied via shed test. So we look forward to making some amazing black exanthic pieds with him down the road as well. Coming in at number eight is the Wookiee Red Stripe Coral Glow Yellow Belly Clown. Okay, this is a beautiful girl. Of course, so many Coral Glows are either male or female by design, but this whole clutch was Coral Glow Girls. Unfortunately, this girl is in shed, so we're gonna include a little bit of video from we hatched, but actually she looks way better now than when she hatched. The saturation has come in really strongly. If she wasn't in shed, it'd be more obvious, but what an amazing animal, and this is an animal I definitely wanna recreate more of and kind of find what we can do to bring in even more kind of oranges and saturation. And you see there's not, I think maybe there's just a couple coral glow, you know, spots popping in on the animal here. One, two, three. So I don't think this animal is ever gonna become just full of spots from the coral glow. Apparently these, these genetics are just really kind of suppressing those a lot, which I think is amazing. It's gonna leave it looking incredible as an adult. Coming in at number seven is the Lace Clowns. And we're actually gonna do a top 11, guys, because we couldn't choose between these two animals for the Lace Clown project. Okay, so two amazing animals. This one right here is the Cypress Yellow Belly Lace Clown. We love lace clowns, and guys, we've done several videos on them, so I'll let you check those out. And why the lace is such a, I think, one of the best future-facing genes we have, as far as the most insane combos of the future, I think will come from the lace. Basically like an incomplete dominant version of the Desert Ghost, in that it just gets better and better with age, with some cool patterning. We have this one, but then we also have the yellow belly white lace clown. So the white lace is really where it's at because it doubles up the effect of lace and it gives it these crazy patterns. So you can already see how bright and beautiful this clown is in general. That's all from the white lace, but then check out the sides and the belly on that. So the white lace combines with the yellow belly to make the most insane kind of popcorn-y, granite, crazy sides, and then a pure white, almost like a pied belly. This is a really amazing combo, and I think this is gonna lead us into some of the craziest clowns that we'll see for the next few years. Number six on our 2022 top 10 is the Red Stripe Yellow Belly Spot Nose Redhead Hypo Clown. That's a mouthful, it's a beautiful, beautiful animal. Okay, so this boy was one of the earlier clutches of 22, so he's got some great size on him already. And of course, Hypo Clown, they're beautiful, they're amazing. Their nickname for Hypo Clowns is Candied Clowns because they do kind of look like a beautiful frosted candy. We love this project. Of course, the codoms on this just make it better. We have Red Stripe, Yellow Belly, and then Spot Nose bringing in some good heavy patterning and then redhead, which adds a lot of saturation, a lot of color to this animal, 
cannot wait to start putting him to work a little bit and making something that's even more phenomenal down the road. It's hard to imagine they can get a lot better than this. All right, we have number five here, and choosing these are so hard because you have to decide between the animals that you think look the most amazing, the ones you like the most, and then the ones that are most genetically powerful that you're most excited about from the odds point of view. Coming at number five is actually my favorite to look at of all these combos. To me, it's genetically powerful, but also the most objectively beautiful animal we made this year. So this is the Fire Special Yellow Belly Spot Nose Redhead Clown. A lot of genes go into this animal, and we carefully kind of worked on this clutch to add genes that would all complement each other, but wouldn't wash the animal out. We don't want a pure white snake. We don't want something that looks kind of muddy. You really can't tell what's in it. This animal is the perfect example of stacking a lot of genes that are all complementary. And what I love about this animal is kind of these tangerine circles all down the sides. Of course, that's the yellow belly giving it those big flames, yellow belly and spot nose. And then we're just changing the color of the entire animal and giving it that beautiful orange with the incomplete dominant. Special fire and redhead are the ones who are really affecting the color. They're all kind of enhancing mutations. And it's also got a nice ringer here. We, we hatched quite a few ringers from our clowns. They're not het pied. We just we tested that a little bit, but some beautiful ringers as a neat element when we get those in the animal as well. For number four, we have the leopard sunset clown. All right, so here she is. This is actually one of our most recent videos we did just a few weeks ago where we hatched the first leopard sunset clown. And this is actually our first visual sunset clown clutch we've hatched. It's super exciting. I think leopard actually adds just a ton of awesome pattern and color to this animal. It's a really great project. We just love these like translucent flames. It comes with like literally looks almost like it's metallic on the flames coming up there. And again, just a perfect example of combining the right things together. And I think with this project, there's so much further to do. If you look at some of the other comments we've done that visually are stunning, it's just the perfect combination of genes. We're working that way with this project as well. Okay, so you had to know these last few were multi-recessives. This is the Spot Nose Monarch Clown. This girl is amazing, and I do think she's red striped. We'll find out with breeding. Absolutely incredible. We love the Monarch Clown Project. We love the Ultramount Clown Project because, of course, you're just taking the beautiful contrast of the clowns and changing it to those really beautiful caramel kind of like almost bubblegum colors that come from the Monarch and Ultramel. Monarch to me is just darker and more maroon, which I think gives us a little bit more runway down the road with more in the color palette. We love this animal so much. Can't wait to continue this project in 2023. Coming in at number two, our first triple recessive of 2022. All right guys, so this is a January 2022 clutch, so almost a year old now. This is the triple recessive Spot Nose Enhancer G-Stripe Clown. Of course, Enhancer is another version of the Desert Ghost Chain completely compatible. So, so basically a DG G-Stripe Clown with Spot Nose. And I again, this is another one that I think has Red Stripe in it but we'll prove it out with time. And this boy is doing amazing. I love how much he's lightened over the time. The G-Stripe Clown adds these beautiful hourglasses to the sides. Of course, Spot Nose kind of enhances it even more, makes him almost like a tiger stripe. And then Desert Ghost, of course, is kind of the X factor that makes it the whole thing just bright and bold and just gets better with age. So to me, this is the ultimate project. The G-Stripe DG Clown Project will be one of our major hallmarks of 2023, I'm sure, as we continue to explore all that's possible, hopefully, using this boy. Coming in at number one, again, it has to be a triple recessive. This is the trifecta. Okay, guys, the trifecta is a desert ghost clown pied. And I call it the trifecta because it's the combination of the three kind of biggest hallmark recessive genes in ball pythons. Even if we move on to other genes in the future, as far as what we like, these three have been the foundational building blocks of our industry. And they're the best, I think, combination of three recessive genes probably in existence because they don't cover each other up at all. Of course, you see the pied and you see the clown in the head and then the desert ghost just takes that pattern to the next level. This boy is pretty large here. It's hatched way back in January as well, so about 11 months old and he's actually starting to breed for us a little bit. We have our first clutches 
hopefully on the way very soon. He actually looks way better than he did as a baby, and that's just, again, the Desert Ghost, you guys. If you want a snake that looks amazing into adulthood, Desert Ghost is the gene, and then you add to that, you put on the patterns that you like, the colors that you like with the other genes, Desert Ghost is definitely where it's at. All right, guys, that's it. That's our top 10. Let me know what you think should have been a number one. Everybody has their own opinions. Thank you much to Ship Your Reptiles who sponsored us in 2022. Looking forward to continuing our relationship with you guys. You guys are the best. And lastly, thank you so much to all of our Patreon members. We love every one of you and we love the interactions we have. We hope to add more of you guys in 2023. Now next week, because of the new year, we're gonna pop some champagne bottles and actually do a video about champagnes. We have some brand new champagne clown combos that I think really change what we can do with the champagne in the future. I'm excited to hear what you think of it. We'll see you next week.